Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and we are returning to Rule the Waves 3, where something odd has happened. I forgot to save appropriately when I exited the game last time around, and that means I think we are just one turn back from where we were before, and that is we are not yet at war against the United Kingdom and France. So otherwise, everything is uh, pretty much the same, and I do think that we're going to end up at war with them just pretty much next turn. So, you know, I could just hit the next turn button here, but there's one thing I want to do, and that is I want to try out whether we are going to get a surprise attack if we move the first carrier division here to Southeast Asia. I think that is something that we'd want to try anyway, and we're probably going to get the first battle division as well. So let's select all of these guys, let's move these ships to Southeast Asia and just see what happens. Um, it's not so much that I really want to get that battle for sure. Um, on the other hand, it would also be fun to see just whether whether that is something that happens and how it plays out a little bit. Um, at any rate, I don't think it's going to be decisive for, for the war itself. Right, improved anti-submarine warfare torpedoes. That's good, but no war yet. Okay, that is a little bit awkward, I, I got to admit. Um, what are we going to do here then? So, do we want to sail into the Indian Ocean? I suppose not. What's our base capabilities in 90? And down here we are still okay, right? So, you know what, in that sense, let's go ahead here and, and end that turn too. And see whether we're going to get the war here or not. Either way, I think I would have done uh, needed to do that. Uh, China's hosting, we will go for the win for more, more tensions here. 5 inch dual purpose guns, unfortunately not something that we've done. But, oh, this is this is an interesting development here. Improved jet engines allows jet attack and heavy jet fighter aircraft. It's really not that we are not at war here. Uh, but they are telling us that they do want to go to war. So, you know what, that, that is something. Okay, six more turns until we can get the next technology here. And Great Britain has a carrier in this territory here. So we are going to wait uh, for that to happen. Uh, we should also make sure that this is uh, ticked here. That seems to be not going uh, according to plan all the time. What did I want to do? Um, I wanted to check... Are we building bases here? Are we building bases in... Yeah, no. Yeah, we are. Okay, good. Um, and how about... How much tonnage can we host in the Mediterranean? You know what? I think, I think we want to... Built a little bit more here, that should be a fine. Oh, what I wanted to check is how the air groups are doing. Still poor, but yeah, there we go. Right, we're gonna get everything to increase tensions here. Spain's alliance, no, 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 we want increased tensions and that is what we're gonna do. We can also now build super carriers. That's interesting and pretty good, I suppose. Also better submarines, also very good, but no war yet. Except for the Soviet Union? What's going on here? <laughs> well, that's awkward. Guys, I'm very, very sorry about this. This is um, this is really, really a bit awkward. And we're losing the alliance with Germany. Oh, that's that's really um, a bit of an issue. Nevertheless, uh, we, we are going to go ahead here. What is restored in Iceland and it's under our administration. Interesting. Also, British and Italian navies, British uh, destroyer has been sunk. A pretty small battle there. Ooh, but this is more important. Italian carrier sunk. And Japan and France are now at state of at a war. No chance for surprise attack, but Iceland is now ours. That is actually huge. Uh, we're going to build naval bases uh, here for sure. And we are going to build some coastal fortifications there too. So let's start uh, with a motorboat to Pedro Squadron for sure. Um, and then let's also build a couple of four inch guns. They're not that important, but they're still um, interesting. Right, okay, so we had war against France now and presumably very soon the UK. Also, the Soviet Union is making noises about declaring war on us as well. How are our air groups looking? Still poor, well that's not good. On the other hand, at least there is a presence down here. Do we want to go for an attack on anything specifically right away? Or do we want to go to the Mediterranean, maybe support the Italians there? Maybe draw the Brits somewhere down here, or the French. 
So we can't attack any British possessions for now, but we could attack French possessions. So how much value is assigned to that? Five, five, five. Come on, two. Okay, nothing too major. We could go for Madagascar. We could also think about, no, West Africa is out of reach. We could increase our presence in the Mediterranean by attacking Tunisia or Algeria. Algeria has a huge base capacity. We could also try to rid them of Djibouti. Do they have any possessions in down here? Well, they do, they do. They do have New Caledonia with no my arm. I think for now the best is probably to attack them here. Try to get them to spend some attrition by moving all the way down here. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the best. On the other hand, we do want to move to Iceland so that we can support them over there. And some more base capacity down here in the Indian Ocean would be very, very welcome. Djibouti 40. And Madagascar is in... What area are you actually in? Indian Ocean. Do you have base capacity? 10. Okay, I think Djibouti it is. And we're going to move the first carrier division there. And we're going to move the first... Uh, first battle squadron there. So, Indian Ocean. Guys, go there. And then we've got... Who else? Uh, so, firstly, by the way, we should go for fleet support here. And then the battle squadron, you guys select all of you guys, move you towards the Indian Ocean. Somewhere, there we go. It's probably going to overload our capacity there a little bit, but I think for a short time that's going to be all right. Well, what we do need to do is set up trade protection. That is going to be these 24 guys and then the Mikazi classes. Uh, they've been pretty much built for that, so we are going to have them do that exactly. Right, and you know what? I think I want to move a couple of you guys here to Southeast Asia. Uh, you can't because you're short range. Well, that's that's okay. Right, and then you guys can also move there, please. Move ships to Southeast Asia. There we go. Right, that should give us more than enough ASW capacity and all of that. So let's hit the turn button here. Uh, we will need to uh, reconsider our research priorities here. Convoy attack. Who's attacking um, and who is defending? They only have three heavy cruiser. I don't think they're going to really fight here. And we have cruiser action here. Uh, we don't really have cruisers, but we do have a couple of very old... Excuse me? We do have a couple of very old destroyers down there. Um, and the purpose of these guys is specifically to be able to attack the enemy with a couple of torpedoes and then get out of there. But... Honestly, guys, this doesn't look too good with the error me message that we just got there. Okay, I think it has resolved itself to nothing, uh, which is also interesting, I suppose. Right, let's set this here as an invasion target, and we're going to try to get that. At least the UK hasn't declared war on us yet. Um, and I suppose that means that we can take the second battle squadron here. And, oops, sorry, and move you guys towards... Southeast Asia. Where is it? There we go. Who is left in North East Asia? The cruiser squadron? Okay, fair enough. The Akagi? Why? Oh, because we didn't select you just now. Okay, yeah, that's that's fair. Move these guys to Southeast Asia. And then where's our radar actually? There we go. You, Northeast Asia, you know what, Um, you can move to the North Atlantic or something. Do we have that North American West Coast? Yeah, I suppose that's that's fine. And I'm going to classify you as a raider. We are bleeding a lot of money, but that's okay. Let's rearrange our naval priorities. And that is, we are going to prioritize, of course, missiles, of course, shipborne operations. Improved jet engines is also something that we're going to medium prioritize. Radar is high, fleet tactics is high, explosive shells is high, anti-submarine warfare is high. Torpedo technology is going to be high. 
AP. These things are more long-term things, so we're not going to go with that, but subdivision and that should be okay. File control also is something that is going to come in and be immediately useful. So yeah, I think we're going to prioritize these guys. I don't think I want to increase the research budget right now. 10% is uh, pretty high already. So let's see what will happen now. And hopefully we're not going to get another another bad me me error message here. No. Okay, so the game is evidently trying to create some sort of battle in the Mediterranean, but due to our six destroyers there, that doesn't quite work out, which is ah, awkward, but at least we are getting a couple of points here, and I think we are attacking Djibouti. Although I don't know whether we're getting all of the all of the stuff that happens after that, or whether we're just going to be immediately dumped to the next uh, episode here. This is slightly concerning. I'm really hoping that we're not going to produce a huge crash here. I'll need to save the game and save it in another... I'll need to actually copy it to, to another slot here. Yeah. Okay, let's copy that to slot 3 just so that we know that it's going to be um, on, on there rather than anywhere else. Okay, that, that, is, that is really annoying. Right, okay, I suppose what we should do is try to get these guys out of the Mediterranean. And... I'm not sure whether it's going to be much better, we're going to, but we're going to move you to Northern Europe. That should also help with the uh, with the rebellion in Iceland. What's Djibouti? We are attacking that. It is costing us some money. But it should hopefully be okay. Are we getting any messages here? No, it's, it's a little bit odd. Okay, cruise action in Southeast Asia. French are declining. That is at least how I like it. Great Britain has joined now, and we are getting semi-piercing? Heavy SSM. Oh, heavy ship-to-ship -ship missile armor penetration. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Right, um, China has stolen. No, no, no. We're going to send uh, a diplomatic note here. China is not going to be not going to be much of a threat. Enemy submarine sunk. That's lovely. No submarines of ours sunk. Uh, but two friendly merchant, merchants. But more importantly, we have now invaded... You know what? We're going to say yes to an, an alliance with Italy here. That that sounds perfectly reasonable. Right, I think that will make our position a lot better here, actually, because they are going to be tied up over here, and we have a much better position. Only issue here is the Soviet Union Starting to make very funny noises, I suppose. So let's see whether we can get Djibouti. And the overall stuff that should allow us to base ourselves here in the Indian Ocean much, much better. And at that point, we might actually try to invade Egypt. So that we have control over the Suez Channel and that, that vital east-western link. Maybe it's a bit of a, of a dream here. Let's see whether the uh, French are actually going to be able to muster enough forces here. Oh yeah, that looks much better. Right, okay. So we've got the Yamashima and Sagami and Fuso. So that's basically the first battle squadron here. Not sure why you are in two groups. You're supporting that. Can I actually um, change that here? Find subordinates, the targets, and the map status. You are going to be aside as a core part of that. Let's see whether they're going to join up. Then we've got a light uh, group here. You're going to be AI control. That's fine. And you guys are already supporting, are you? You're screening. No, no, you should be supporting. That's your job as anti-aircraft cruisers. And then we've got some very weird setup here with light cruiser divisions pulling in destroyer squadrons. Okay, well, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about that, but uh, we, we're gonna see how this is gonna look. Um, yes, we do wanna search uh, with scout planes. We don't have any carriers, so there's no not gonna be a huge search arc, but we have at least these two, car uh, two uh, float planes that are coming out of this group here. It's kind of doubtful whether we're gonna find too much here, uh, but let's see. Right, okay. Um, speaking of, there is a battle cruiser over there, apparently. So, I suppose 
you guys can go back to supporting and you guys should likewise go to supporting because that that group here is is a little bit too too weirdly constructed for my liking unknown radar contact okay there we go that's the first contact here and what's our battle battle range similar to our vision range so let's keep these guys on and i think we do have missiles don't we Okay, yeah, that range is somewhat the same as our our gun range. Okay, looks like the enemy is coming in with... I don't think these are heavy cruisers. These might be smaller ships, light cruisers, presumably. Maybe heavy cruisers. Oh, well, on the other hand, now that we see them, looks like this one is a little bit bigger. So, let's see about that. Right, you guys, what are you doing? You're supporting, right? And you guys, you're trying to find your way there. You guys, likewise, supporting... Wind is blowing from that direction. Now that is less important than it used to be. But we're still going to go to the south here. To uh, cross their T. Have all of our ships hopefully come behind us now. And hopefully score some hits here. Well, I say that and Yoshima is being immediately hit with a heavy gun. A 16 inch gun into her engine room. Although the uh, penetrator, there, there wasn't any penetration. Right, 16 inch guns. Uh, what have you guys got? You don't have any ship that carries a 16 inch gun. That means we've got the British in the area. And that means we've got a Rotney class battle cruiser. All forward armament. I think like the King George V, right? 13 inches of belt armor, that is significant. And 8 16 inch guns. Now, we have 12 16-inch guns, and we've got them in battle turrets, but that looks like two ships to me. And the Ashima does not have 16 inches, she has 13 inches. In that case, we're going to continue on this pathing here. In the hope of closing the distance, because I do believe that we're going to have a slightly better time at a closer range with our smaller guns. Unidentified ship hit with a 16-inch gun here. 13 inch hit, shell hit that is lovely now the 16 inch hit 16 inch hit 16 13 inches but Yoshima turret hit turret disabled and Sagami turret destroyed completely destroyed one of our turrets already luckily one of the ones that isn't in action so let's go slightly to the south here to open up more of our guns actually uh, also Fuzo you are actually engaging them too Notice there are a bunch of other ships here, but they aren't currently doing their stuff. So, you guys, what class are you, Uzaki? You're the relatively modern class. I don't want to lose you if I don't have to. Oh, yeah, um, let's not forget about our missiles here, right? 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 Let's do it. Okay, so, let's go ahead here and do fire a salvo and we're obviously going to target the Rotney class here and we can see who can actually engage these guys and how many heavy surface to surface missiles they've got let's fire all of them I'm not sure whether that is going to be working really well a ships fired one of them needs to turn slightly that's okay and you guys are going to fire at the other guy here so we've got a lot of missiles in the air right now and um, not sure whether that is causing any interference with the fire control but let's see right there come all of our missiles Yoshima is being hit again and one of her turrets is being destroyed and another one put out of action so we desperately need to turn this battle because this is not going well although at least we have also disabled one of their turrets there um, and all of these missiles are on their way so Right, okay, four hits here on at least one of them. Although I suppose they were all on that um, rear ship here, which seems to be on fire now. But I haven't seen any hit on, on the first one here. One more missile in the air. That might very well be um, due to some effect of, um, of the targeting system sort of picking up only on, on one of the targets. Right, here's the disadvantage of their all-forward armament. They can't fire us when they're turning away. 
So that at least is good. Right, let's fire another salvo. And I'm not going to turn on fire at will here because that's just not what I like to do. And this time let's try to fire this gentleman here. Again with all of our missiles. Two of them have only been fired. The other ones are going to need to turn. Uh, but they can usually do that. There's one missile in the air. They hit. Three more missiles in the air. Or four at least. And four of them hit. But I'm not sure again which one. Medium damage here on that class. Light damage on this one. But Yashima also heavily damaged. Sagami somewhat damaged. Fuzu is still alright actually. So... How are we going to deal with that now? Okay, so they've got they've lost one of their turrets, they've lost one of their turrets. We've got all of these light chips, and they are turning away from us. I don't think... So I, I'm considering whether we should do a torpedo run, but honestly I don't think so. They call this a CV, I don't think it is. We haven't seen any aircraft either. We are scoring some good hits here against her. She seems to be slowing down too. Yeah, she's, she's being hit pretty hard here. So the question is, are we going to send more missiles her way to prevent her from getting away? Let's try to at least fire off another salvo. I'm not confident that we're going to hit her, but let's fire all of our missiles here from this ship. Yeah, the rear one there is, is being heavily, heavily hit. There was one missile flying. Um, I did see it flying, but it didn't seem to score a hit. So let's use our last two two missiles, because I really do think there's there's probably there's it's very unlikely that we're going to find a better target here. But you know what? It's only two missiles. Let's keep them in reserve. Maybe just maybe they're going to come in useful later on. Right. We should also adjust our speed here, just in case they've uh, done anything here. That could slow that down. Oh, this is probably the convoy, not all light chips. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Right, we do want to get the Rotney. Okay, one of our destroyer squadrons here has misunderstood signals. That is very likely a consequence of their poor training, since we just um, started using them not so long ago. We are also seeing another heavy cruiser class here. Oh, this seems to be fairly modern. 1942, nine 10-inch guns. We've got a lot of information about these French cruisers here, actually. So this is a mixed allied squadron here. But we are scoring some good hits there, aren't we? But I say that, and Condi is hitting, hitting Yashima again and disabling one of the turrets. At least another turret here has come back into action. So that at least is encouraging. Okay, many more hits here. 16 inch gun hits on these guys. That, that should not uh, be standing. Much, much older heavy cruiser here. 1929, eight inch guns. By far not as, as important. But Condi's missile, uh, Condi is firing here at the missile uh, tubes and scoring a hit on them and that means these guys are now on fire it's a minor fire but it's still concerning and that is one of the reasons why missiles are a little bit dangerous um as as you would kind of think hopefully she is going to be able to um extinguish these fires uh, sometime soon and now uh, that being said i think we need to s um swing back here a little bit so that we are not losing contact here with the rotney too badly and maybe get our uh, destroyers into that group of who are you uh, you're probably the ones who misunderstood the signals earlier right okay you know what uh, let's turn more or less due north so that we can get the rotney and get into the midst of these uh, transport ships uh, where we are hoping to send off some torpedoes that way and uh, hopefully deal a lot of damage that way i don't think we are seeing a lot of important Are you? You don't look like it. You don't look like it, but you are in fact an aircraft carrier. Not a big one, mind you, but an aircraft carrier with 30 aircraft nonetheless. Okay, um, that is definitely worth. Uh, no, no, no. Um, that is definitely worth 
Oh, Yoshima has reloaded. That's that's lovely. Right, um, but let's see whether we can hit her. Let's see. Let's see how that is going to turn out. Transport class is being hit here by light cruisers mostly. Condi. Okay, didn't, 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 I don't think we, we scored a hit here against her. Let's fire half of our, our missiles here. Condi class is being hit? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's not always the target that you're actually aiming at, especially when they are so close together um, and when it's very early on in, in missile control technology. Which does make some sense. Uh, it's, it's probably very hard to distinguish one, one radar reflection from another. Um, and the missiles are not going to be able to pick up on that super easily. Um, but that being said, let's try to at least specifically target her. Uh, although, honestly, that's, n that's not the target that I had in mind. This is, this is it. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. What's that up there? That's probably the Rotney class, right? The second one. And she's coming back. Interesting. Right, we are pretty close to her here. All of these guys are pretty sure to be transport ships. Yoshima's superstructure. Yep. Okay, let's be a little bit more aggressive. I do need to keep an eye on the destroyers because, again, we don't want to get torpedoed in our face. But we also... Oh, speaking of torpedoes. There are some down there. Right. Rodney class being savagely hit here by Fuso. We probably don't actually want to hit her anymore, do we? So, Fuso, could you target... You're targeting the heavy cruiser there. At least you're pretending to do that. Can you actually target the the light carrier? And you guys, can you target the, the other Rodney class? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Right, and we're still going to try to close in with her. This destroyer, oh, um, that I completely overlooked. That I completely overlooked. Um, notice all of these torpedoes being fired here. But yeah, let's try to turn away from this destroyer because I'm slightly worried about what's happening here. Not too worried about all of these merchantmen. I am very worried about um, the capital ships. And more about preserving our own than causing damage because already we have scored quite a bit of damage here. We need to zigzag a little bit. I see lots of torpedoes in the water. I don't see a lot of hits. Well, there we go. Game, listen to me. At least one hit here. Rotney class. Where's the carrier? There's the carrier. Everyone is firing at us. But our battleships are just steaming through the middle here. And scoring tons and tons of hits. Okay, good hits here. Slightly worried about her. Not gonna lie. Could tell us, but you, you are being hit by at least the 4-inch guns. So that should have some stopping power. And that guy there is, is also still quite a bit of danger there. Yeah, I think we just need to power through here. And leave these guys sort of at the edge here. Hoping that we're gonna outrun them and... I don't want to turn now because I think if we turn, we're going to make it more likely that we're going to get into torpedo, um, in, into torpedo range or have a torpedo firing solution offered by to these guys. So yeah, let's let's say no. Surprisingly enough, the light carrier here has has barely been hit so far. Superstructure hit, aircraft stuff destroyed. But three of your guys, uh, three of your guns are back in action, so that's at least nice. Uh, but can you actually target the proper battle uh, cruiser there, the Rotney class? Because that one is going down for sure. Notice all of these torpedoes coming in for her. We have a very high dot rate at this point, but also our stuff should do a lot of damage here. 
You guys probably do have torpedoes, don't you? Eight. You're actually fairly modern. Although you seem to be suffering from quite a bit of damage already. Right, I think we will need to do a very aggressive turn and I'm going to be very aggressive in turning towards the enemy here. Which evidently was a huge mistake. Well, honestly, it was a mistake to run that far already. At least a hit here on the light cruiser, <laughs> light cruiser, light carrier. Sagami, Ishima hit. By the destroyer, that is one plucky destroyer here. Well, Ishima with a single torpedo hit, she is going to be all right. Rodney's maneuvering, which one? No, that one was hit, I think. Yeah, um, stop it maybe. <laughs> I think she's 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 going down for sure. I really wish there was a button to tell you to tell your ships don't fire on that specific ship. It's not worth it. She is gonna go down anyway. Okay, lots of hits here, including on the light carrier, which is damaged and on fire. But I also noticed that we're not really shooting at this Rotney here. Can we, let's talk about our missiles. We only have very few of them. But the few that we do have, we're gonna to try to fire them off. Oh well, one of them has already fired, that's nice. Although it doesn't look like we are going to score a hit here. Okay, destroyers being hit by by torpedoes, that's unlikely. Also notice all of these torpedoes here coming in for the CVL. I should just say CVL. By the way, I have turned off friendly torpedo stuff because otherwise I'd be going crazy. You can try to avoid this, but it just takes a lot more micro. Um, and honestly, I don't think this needs any more micro from me than we are already playing for. Right, I think we are basically scavenging we are hitting these guys incredibly hard here. True, we have uh, we have gotten a torpedo in our face as well, but I'm not too concerned about that actually. Notice these two heavy cruisers are burning down there too, uh, but we do need to continue to switch around a little bit because that guy there is pretty dangerous still. I'm not going to comment on on every single hit here because there are so many, but. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Nice, nice magazine hit there on on the uh, on the aircraft carrier. Lots more torpedoes flying through the air, <laughs> through the water, I should say. Swimming, sw swimming through the water seems seems to be pretty appropriate. Right, um, let's continue to zigzag. Let's try to get the Rodney. And every time I get that pop up, I'm afraid that it's a torpedo hit on us. But so far, we seem to be pretty lucky. Ooh, and the Rodney is coming towards us. That is that is an interesting development. And um, let's try to sail straight to the south here to get a good, good salvo on her. Man, I'm so paranoid with all of this stuff. Well, it's interesting that we are hitting them down there, but hmm, I suppose I'm going to take it. Right, I don't see a lot of shit hits here on the Rodney. I am, however, seeing hits on the funnel of the Yashima. That's not really something I like. The Rodney seems to have our range much better than, than we have hers. The Sagami isn't even firing on the Rodney. But there we go, three three heavy hits here. That is, uh, that is pretty brilliant. She's also on fire, <laughs> curiously enough. And one of her turrets is completely taken out of action, so completely destroyed. Uh, that is certainly a very good sign. More hits here on the Rotney, but just uh, four inch guns. 13 inch hits on the Rotney because Sagami is finally starting to fire on her as well. And uh, I finally see which heavy cruiser we are torpedoing all the time. That seems to be this ship there. Um, she's she's going to be completely toast. Right, um, if you could also, by the way, torpedo the Rotney, I think that would be brilliant. There are three more hits here on her. Let's try to keep her in range a little bit by going around like that. Yeah, I think she made a big mistake by coming back like that. 
She is starting to slow down very significantly here. Who? Oh, that must be land-based ships. Land-based. Our land-based ships are now approaching the enemy here. And this is, this is complete carnage. I mean, Yashima will need to be put in dock for sure. And Sagami probably too. So we are going to lose some of our capabilities here. Uh, these missiles are very likely to be fired from our aircraft because I don't think we have that many anymore. Okay, are there even enemy forces left? Well, some down there in the far south. That's probably destroyers. We're very unlikely to catch them. I would like to catch the heavy cruiser though. And honestly, I think the Rotney class is done for, so... Let's turn south and try to engage with the heavy cruiser. And of course, if anyone would like to send some torpedoes into Rotney, that would be brilliant. Make sure she is truly finished off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's so... So lovely of you. How welcoming. How, how very, very nice. Interestingly enough, we are not seeing that many... Notice there are more torpedoes being fired here. And of course our dart rate should be super high, but I'm pretty happy with that as long as we are scoring some hits and they are doing a lot of damage here. Did see another torpedo launch there? Yeah, and there we go. We can finally pick up some uh, some enemy sailors here. Oh, we're no monsters. We can do that. Can we hit this guy though? Yeah, no. No one is in range anymore. And we are way too slow. Yeah, we're not going to be able to catch her. Unfortunate, but uh, unless we are going to score some very lucky hits here, I don't think this is going to be viable. There was one hit at least. Maybe, just maybe. No, 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 we are losing her. But that's fine. Yeah, okay. That's okay. Who, who's over there? Is that another destroyer? Uh, or another transport ship? Something like that? Ooh. There are more ships over here. You are very likely to be destroyers, aren't you? Let's try to keep some speed here. Yeah, they are definitely destroyers or, or even lighter ships. So yeah, I think we can turn away from that because I don't feel like engaging the small stuff here for no good reason. Also, some of our land-based uh, aircraft are still arriving. So let's see whether they can can do stuff, basically. Right, we're also trying, gonna try to find out what this radar contact here is. We're still trying to fire on her. Unsuccessfully. Right. There we go. Yeah, sure. Launch a scout aircraft. Do, do the second search here. What's that? Supposedly a light cruiser? Don't believe it is. Could be. Could be. Can we catch her though? Uh, again, doesn't look likely. But we could try to run her into the shore here. She's not likely to have an answer to that. Okay, it's a destroyer. Again, not really worth chasing them. Uh, the chance to be torpedoed is, is just way too big. Yoshima limits flooding. Uh, that's actually good. Uh, how are you guys doing in terms of damage? So, yeah, your flooding is, is pretty okay. So that torpedo hit is, is okay. And Sagami, you're not burning anymore, so that's good too. Right. Let's try to finish this scenario by sailing away. There we go. Nightfall. And proper night. Right, how does it look? So light damage on two of our battleships, medium damage on one, that's going to be unfortunately the more important one. Two battlecruisers sunk, one heavy cruiser sunk. 
Hey, what about that light cruiser? She she blew up. She properly blew, blew up. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. She wasn't she wasn't looking like a light cruiser uh, light aircraft carrier either. Did we like, misidentify her, her that badly? What was that then? Transport ship? Probably an AMC. Probably the AMC. That's really weird though. Really quite weird. Yashima, crew quality one, that's actually not too bad. Above average, good com administrator. That's actually good because that will mean our uh, repair costs are going to be super low. But the Rodney and the Invincible have been sunk. That is lovely. Ah, I can't get the almanac right now. That's good. I don't think we need to uh, look at any tracks here because we basically sunk everything. Just double check here what's left. Yeah. Yeah, the heavy cruiser that we did expect. So that's nice. Good. 18,000 victory points here. Yes, that is a noteworthy victory. But Yashima out for five. It's not torpedoes. That sounds lovely. Night capable fighters. That's also very cool. Mirror landing aids. Ah, oh, very lovely. We are getting the good stuff now. We are getting the super good stuff. But. But, but, but. Losing two submarines. That's not good. 130 victory points. That's lovely. But Yashima in dock for four months. Can we rebuild her? Well, can we do anything here that is worthwhile to rebuild? I don't think so because we have pretty much added everything that we want. So it's pretty much a no. She's doing fine. We could get better accommodation um, at the cost of some weight. For example, we could do it like this. There would be four months. She's she's down to four months. I think this this would be decent. This might actually be lower cost than than they would otherwise be. Nope. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do that. I think I think that will make her more future ready. And who knows when we are gonna get the next chance to rebuild her. So we're gonna do that now. We'll need to think about here the rest of the, the two Sagami classes. I'm going to do that off screen. Um, but for now, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So fighting here continues, but we do have an advantage. We will probably pull in second battle squadron from Southeast Asia and the heavy cruisers from Northeast Asia towards Southeast Asia. And hopefully gonna get Chibutu. That being said, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Do leave a like and everything and I'll see you around next time. Bye bye.